YouTubers, it's Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So today we are talking Love Island UK, you guys, and we are talking about the Heart Rate Challenge episode that came a little bit early, you guys. But you know what? Timing is everything because I feel like this was perfectly timed in light of all of the drama with some of the couples, and it is nice to kind of do this right before Casa Amor as well. So that tells me that they may have some interesting challenges for the back half of the season, you guys. But let's get into it. So the episode starts with, for some reason, Luca questioning Jax about his relationship with Gemma. And Jax basically is saying, hey, we didn't work out because she wasn't allowed to do anything. Probably because she was underage at the time. But they, anyway, she wasn't allowed to do anything. Wasn't allowed to go out. Felt that he was going out all the time. And, um, and this and that. So Luca relays this to Gemma. And then Gemma gets pissed because she's like, listen... I haven't said anything negative about him to Paige, so why is he telling you all of this stuff? And so then from there, she then confronts Jax, and then they get into a tiff, and they're like having like the little popsicle icy things, and they get into a tiff, and they're basically like, yeah, this is why we didn't work out. This is why we did not work out, you guys. And so then after that, um, we get the text message that there is going to be a heart rate challenge for the evening. And, um, and yeah, it did not disappoint you guys. It did not disappoint. The first look was everything. Some of the predictions that I did in my previous video, if you guys have not checked that out, had come to light, had come true in terms of what actually took place in this heart rate challenge. So for some reason, they had the women go first versus the men. And I feel as though they should have did this in reverse. They should have had the men go first before the women you guys um because they did not give they did not give anything you guys except for really davide davide was the only person who showed up to clock in so so there was that <laughs> out of the men um him and and no him and andrew let me take that back him and andrew were the only two men that clocked in um as for the women so they started off with the women and they did it right by starting off with dancer danica you guys Danica killed it. She killed it. She was in, like, it gave me Vegas showgirls types of number with the rhinestones and the headpiece and everything else. She was shaking that behind in Dami's face and everybody's face. She gave Andrew one heck of a lap dance and whatever else. Her and Davide have amazing chemistry, have amazing sexual attraction to each other, you guys. Davide loved it. He loved everything that Danica was giving him. And so I knew that the guys were attracted to Danica. They tried to play it off like they weren't, but they were just trying to act like they were so secure in their couples. But um, definitely if this was day one, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. But Danica absolutely killed it. And I, did, I expected nothing less. Next, Akinsu, you guys, she came out in a wedding dress. And I don't know if you remember, but back when she was coupled up with Davide, I think he made the comment, oh, you expect me to marry you in four days. So I think they were, I think production was playing with her. So she, of course, she does her thing and, of course, just goes all in on Davide, starts kissing him and everything else. And Davide, he's all eating it up in the confessionals. He's like, I guess, you know, she wanted to give me a gift because I'm so handsome. And I'm like, I can't take this guy. I cannot take this guy right now. And then Luca tried to cover his eyes and look away, you guys, um, when Ekansu was trying to seduce him. So there was that. Next came India, you guys. India was my favorite. She shut it down. She cleared it. Her and Danica were the ones that brought it, you guys. Her and Danica were the ones that brought it. And so, and I expected nothing less. Some of you were speculating online that she wasn't going to do anything. And I didn't know what you guys are talking about. I, it's always the quiet ones, you guys. It's always the quiet ones. It's always, quote, the good girls. It's always the people you never suspect that have the hidden freak, that have the hidden outlet that they need to release, you guys. And that is what India did, you guys. 
That is what India did. She let loose and everybody was shook. Everybody was so shook that that's when they started doing a round of applause and standing ovations, you guys. <laughs> because it was, they were so shook at India because they were so surprised because she's like nice little sweet India. And she turned out, you guys, she was giving, now she was giving like cute, seductive. She wasn't going all out like sex pot like some of the other ladies she was just trying to keep it cute but give it an enough so that they could see oh india's about that life if if you're the right one and so when she got to dami oh my gosh she threw it in a circle you guys she threw the butt in the circle for mr dami you guys and it was everything it was everything dami was losing his mind um he was pity patting on the booty he was <laughs> he was trying to grab the booty and it was hilarious because it was like an upside down twerk and the booty was just shaking it shook the guys they could not handle it you guys they could not handle it they were so shook at india and dami was trying to recreate it in the confessional in the beach hut and he saw, kept saying how sexy that india was and i'm like you better hype up your girl you better hype her up dude and so there was that and so then we had also um Gemma come in and play like some type of vixen or whatever um in a high ponytail and basically you know flirted some with uh Jax and then of course went all in to give Luca the show um then we had Tasha come in as a Barbie you guys Tasha came in as a Barbie and was in a Barbie doll and was in her Barbie world. And I think she thought she did something, but it was giving me stiff at times. And so I really wasn't feeling what she was trying to do, you guys. It just did not connect with me. Um, it was just a lot of like shaking her hair and this and that. And I was like, okay, like, like, can you give me something? Like, what is it that we're supposed to be, um, you know, acknowledging at this point? Because I, I don't know. I, I just didn't see it for her. I did not see it for her. And, and that is why nobody's heart rates saw it for her either. So, sorry, light shade, light shade. Um, so there's that. Um, next was Paige, you guys. Next was Paige. And they had her as Baywatch, I guess as a Pamela Anderson Baywatch. But there is Carmen Electra Baywatch. There is other Baywatches besides Pamela Anderson, you guys. Um, and then they didn't even give her a blonde wig, you guys. They gave her a storm um, from X-Man wig. <laughs> it was like this great crinkly cut wig. And I was like, what is happening? But the men all lost it, you guys. The men all lost it. Um, you know, we're talking about how cute and how sexy she was and this and that. And it was just hilarious. It was hilarious. Um, and so then we get to the men, you guys. And the men was a snooze fest. Outside of Zorro, a.k.a. Davide and um, Andrew, it was nothing to see, you guys. They had um, Dami as like some mad scientist or some mad lab rat or whatever. And it just wasn't giving, you guys. It was giving like an uncle. Um, <laughs> like it wasn't giving. But then when he gave India the show... Um, he basically brought her down in front of the pyre pit and laid her down and started kissing from like toe up, you guys. And it was hot. And Ekansu was like, India, calm it down. Keep it together, girl. And do not lose your composure. Do not lose it. And so then Dami started kissing India. And then he put her in the position that she said was her favorite sex position, which was missionary with her legs up in the air. And so it was hot and Dami was like thrusting. And I was like, oh my gosh, like how is this passing the airwaves? Like this is very, very, very wild. Like even Dami's cousin was tweeting and was like, my grandmother is watching this and she has like her hand over her eyes. And then they like specifically quote like the actual thrusting part of the performance with him in India. And they are losing it, you guys. They are losing it. So there was that, but it was nothing to see. I was happy he went first because it was, it was, it, it didn't give. Um, Luca, they had be a ringmaster and that was hilarious. And so he's like randomly slapping Akinsu and all this other stuff. Um, and then he picked up Deanna, De Danica and took her for a twirl. You guys took Danica for a twirl <laughs> after all the foolishness he pulled with her. Um, so there was that, uh, and then they had Jax come out as a police officer. It just didn't move the needle, you guys. It did not move the needle. I didn't care when he, like, tried to, I guess, uh, suck on the police baton, you know, that they carry around. I was, I was, I was just, ugh. 
I was just like, yuck. Um, so there was that. Um, then Charlie, oh my gosh, he had the most cringeworthy performance. He, you know, honestly, he should be eliminated for not, for even coming out with that foolishness, you guys. For even coming out with the foolishness, he should have been immediately dumped from the villa because that was an embarrassment. That was an embarrassment. They had him come out as a butler. He's out there, you know, he was just doing the most, doing like random stuff that had no coordination, that had no ideas, had no thought process behind it. Nobody's heart raised for him because it was just cringed, you guys. It was just cringe. And um, and nobody even cared when he took off whatever to be in the Speedo. Like it was just, it just, just it gave nothing. It gave absolutely nothing, you guys. It was dead. It was a dead end. This is why the men should have went first because all of them were disappointing except for Davide and Andrew. Um, and so then Jay went out and he came out and looked kind of like a Tarzan type of thing, but... They edited out most of his performance, and I don't know if it's because of the cold sore on his lip or, or what it is, but they edited out most of his performance. So we have no idea what he actually did. <laughs> we have no idea. Um, and then um, Andrew. Andrew surprised me. He, he um, Not as coordinated, but he tried. He tried, and he gave quite the performance. I actually think he did more for India. He picked India up, you guys picked her up, legs up in the air, and then laid her down, was grinding on her, and then did like a flip it, smack it, rub it down, oh no, and turned her on her backside, and was thrusting and grinding, and I was like, what is going on? I was like, what is Dami telling Andrew about India, was my first thought. I'm like, what has Dami told Andrew? What did he say to him about India? I want to know, because Andrew is shook, or maybe India's performance had him so shook that he felt that he needed to return the favor and give India something special. But they're all very close because Andrew is Dami's best mate. So there is that. Um, and then finally, Davide. Now, at least they got it right in saving the best for last. At least they got it right saving the best for last, which was Davide. And he did not disappoint. He came out looking like Zorro. Um, with like the mask and the cape and, and the whole nine. And, um, and it was, it, and it was steamy, you guys, it was steamy. Um, Akinsu, she like spread her legs for him, was like ready, was like, here, come take me, here, come hither. And it was a hot mess, you guys, it was a hot mess. Um, and then, um, Davide, he bent over Danica, you guys, he bent over Danica and not only bent her over, you guys, but took a bite out of her behind, you guys, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh or i think he i think he kissed it let me not exaggerate i think he kissed her behind but i think he was meaning to kiss her on the lips and that did not happen um so there was that i think davide forgot in his performance in his routine of all the stuff that he was going to do but the way that he flipped up danica i was like yeah you are attracted to her like you can downplay it all you want to but these men are attracted to danica i don't care what they say I don't care what they say. Um, they are definitely attracted to her. Um, also, what happened? Also, what happened? Also, what happened? Oh, my gosh. I forgot Antigone's performance. <laughs> I <laughs> Anyways, so the results, you guys. So the results. So Paige reads the results of the men. So Dami's heart rate went highest for Paige. Um, Luca's heart rate, I believe, went highest for Gemma, I want to say. I think Gemma. And um, then Jax and Gemma's heart rates went high for each other. Um, I believe also, I'm trying to think of everything that took place. Like my mind is, my mind is foggy. My memory is foggy. Hold on one moment, you guys. Hold on one moment. Um, so then for the women, you guys, oh, Andrew's heart rate, you guys. Andrew's heart rate was high for Danica and Tasha was losing her mind. Her heart rate was high for Andrew, you guys. India's heart rate was high for Andrew. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nobody's heart rate was high for Dami or Charlie or um or who else? Tasha. That's what's so funny. That was what was so funny, you guys. That was what was so funny. Um, these results were a hot mess in, in all capacities. 
Um, so let's quickly run that back, you guys, and run back the results of this game. Hold on one second, you guys. All right, so just to run back the results um, really quickly. So for the men, Jax was highest for Gemma. Lucas was highest for Gemma. Dami's was highest for Paige. Charlie's was highest for India, you guys. Andrew was highest for Danica. Jay's was highest for Gemma. And Davide's was highest for Ekansu. And then for the women, Danica's heart rate was highest for Davide. Paige's was highest for Luca. India's was highest for Andrew. Tasha was highest for Andrew. Antigone was highest for Jax. Akinsu was highest for Luca. And Gemma was highest for Jax. So, um, so there was that, you guys. But, um, but yeah. And then overall, women had the hardest, hard, the, not the hardest, the highest heart rate, you guys, out of everybody that won the competition. So from there, they decided to have a debrief. And actually, I saw a different side to Paige this episode. She was being very messy. When she's alone with Tasha, they get very catty and kind of mean girlish. And I was kind of surprised because I thought Paige was like a genuine girl's girl. Um, but it seems as though she's a little messy. And so, basically, they were upset with the results. Paige is jealous that, you know, the exes still have heart rates for each other. And Tasha felt a way that Andrew's heart did not raise for her. Make it make sense, you guys. Meanwhile, I was convinced that her heart rate was not going to raise for Andrew because she wants every other guy in that villa but Andrew. So, color me shocked. Um, so Tasha has an argument with Andrew about the fact that his heart rate did not raise for her and she storms off, you guys, storms off because of this. Mind you, it's a game. Um, and so then Paige and Jax have a chat and he basically tells her, yeah, I was thinking about all of the times, like I used, I was having flashbacks to when I used to have sex with Gemma and that's probably why my heart rate <laughs> You guys, I, I, I cannot, I cannot... Jax is an F boy. He is Jake 2.0 and he is a hot mess. And if you guys do not vote him in the bottom, I don't know. What, I don't know what we're going to do. I do not know what we're going to do, but he needs to see the bottom of the couples. If there's a couple's vote, you guys, you know that they're not going to get rid of Paige, but they need to get rid of Jax because he is a walking red flag and he is going to hurt Paige at some point. And it's going to be very bad and it's going to be very messy. And we're going to be looking back at all of the times that Jax said all of these nasty things and was giving the F-boy playbook and you guys did nothing because you like Paige. You guys did absolutely nothing. And and here we are. Um, and Remy was right. Look at that. Remy was right about Jax when you guys wanted to come for him and start sending him threats when he told you who Jax was, even though I knew he was telling the truth because you could see a glimpse of who he really was um, throughout the show. Um, so there was that. So then India has a talk with Dami and, you know, basically there's like tension between them and it's like, ooh, is this going to blow up too? And so Dami's all like, yeah, I kind of feel some tension. And he was like, you know, our heart rates didn't raise for each other. So I don't understand the issue. And so like India, she's like, well, I'm in my stockings and I'm in my, you know, this and that. And I'm doing all this for you. And they put her in such a beautiful lace wig, a beautiful lace front wig. I was hoping she would change to that and just wear that style for a little bit. Um, so we'll see if that makes a return or something. Um, and so then Dami was like, okay, this energy that you have right now is getting my heart rate up. And he had to put a pillow over himself. And he was like, see, like it was, <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh. I'm like, Dami is always searching for the pillow whenever he's around India. Do you guys notice that? Do you guys notice that? This man had a wet dream the other day and it frothed over. <laughs> And then remember, he had the issue the night that him and India had their first real kiss. Um, he had that issue in the bed, you guys, where he was like grabbing himself. Um, so he's very much into India. And so basically he was like, you know that you're sexy, like you're sexy. I find you sexy. And she was like, well, I don't disagree. And I was like, you better say that, sis. You better say that. And so anyways, they hugged it out and said that they were friends and said that they were cool because, um, you know, India basically was like, the beauty salon's closed tonight. Like, we're not getting anything tonight because you um, did not even raise your heart for me. But honestly, I think that Dami's heart might have stopped. So that could have been. <laughs> like, Dami's heart, like his shock phase was like a heart-stopping phase. So, so there is that. 
but um and then we had a final conversation with Davide and Akinsu where they're up here acting like divorced parents who are thinking about rekindling things but deep down still hate each other but also know that there is sexual tension between them that they need to get out of their system so they're going to you know try to play around and dance around it and this and that and Davide he's up here bragging to the guys that yeah I can sue wants me back and this and that but I think low-key he he at least likes her to hook up with her at least on that level but whoever's running davide's accounts on the socials is not happy they do not want ekansu any part anywhere near this guy and and they're not happy at all so um so more to come on that because they do not see it for ekansu and they do not want her um to you know get into davide's head again and all of this nonsense they are not happy they are anti ekansu in all capacities you guys so there is that but that was pretty much the episode i believe in the first look for tonight we have the recoupling the women are going to lead the charge i'm hoping there's something messy but i don't think danica is going to pick andrew because he seems all in you know at this point until casa amor with tasha so i think she's either going to pick uh either jay or charlie it sounds like um because i'm pretty sure 99.9 .9 sure i can sue is going to choose davy day I am like 99.9% .9 sure she's going to choose Davy Day. So there is that. And um, it looks like there's going to be some apology breakfast coming from Andrew and Dami to India and um, Tasha. So we'll tune in for that as well. But let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. What did you guys think of the heart rate challenge? Who do you think had the best performance of the male side? Who do you think did the best of the female side? As you know, of the females, I think India and Danica did the best. Of the males, I think Davide and Andrew did the best. The rest were very forgettable. I don't remember what everyone else did. Heck, I even forgot Antigone was even a part of the, <laughs> the heart rate challenge. That is how far removed I was. So there is that. But let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.